We present Whose Line Is It Anyway? And here's your chairman, Clive Anderson. Hello, hello, and welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway? A programme of ready wit and spontaneity whose very title sounds like a piece of improvisation, albeit not a particularly good one. This week we have with us, as usual, John Sessions, the thinking man's Mike Yarwood, and Stephen Fry, the thinking man's John Sessions. <laughs> also, Nonny Williams, the actress and writtress, and last but not first, Jimmy Mulville, star of the cult Channel 4 late-night comedy series, Who Dares Watch? Who Dares Wins? <laughs> now, our first game is called Authors. Uh, each contestant has come along with an author that, uh, in whose style he or she is prepared to improvise a story. And perhaps I'll start by just getting from the various contestants who their authors are. Who have you come along with, Stephen Fry? Sir Geoffrey Ar Archer. Sir Geoffrey Archer. <laughs> yes. Ar Archer. You know... <laughs> Sir Geoffrey Ar Archer. You obviously know something we don't know. Yes, he, I do. Has he been knighted? Of <laughs> course, by the time this goes out, he may have been uh, knighted. Well, I, that's right. I'm looking to the future. We live in hopes. And, uh, Jimmy, which author have you uh, uh, chosen? I'm the 20th century Jane Austen, Jackie Collins. <laughs> Jackie Collins? Yep. Nonny? Uh, I think Geoffrey Chaucer. Chaucer? I think Geoffrey Chaucer. Chaucer. Right. And John? The theatrical memoirs of John Gilgood. <laughs> Jolly good. Now, the story that uh, we'd like you to improvise is one which the audience is going to tell us. So if we can have a, a suggestion from the audience of a story, or maybe a short story title, that would be good for those various authors to tell a story. Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> You're, you're out a bit later, then, aren't you? <laughs> could, could we have more of a sort of a suggestion of a story, not a specific story like that, but uh, d describing, like the, you know, the life of a penny or something like that? The life of a penny. <laughs> a lost sock. A lost sock. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> that is a suggestion rather than a complaint, is it? <laughs> so the story title is bizarrely a lost a sock. A lot of room there for narrative. Uh, <laughs> for doing a sequel, I should imagine. But, uh, <laughs> so starting off... <laughs> so starting off then, uh, please, Stephen, as Sir Geoffrey Archer. Chapter One. Charles Henderson, MP, sate in his char. <laughs> Idly scrotching his hip. Chapter Two. <laughs> Some were a telephone ring. <laughs> Panatella, for it was she, strode across the crushed velvet floor. She saw his throbbing manhood. <laughs> Your manhood is throbbing, she said. <laughs> yes, I know. I must get it seen to. <laughs> he was six foot two in his stocking feet. She was seven foot three. Hey, whis, quad shay. Where is that socky of which we have heretofore been asked to tell? I know he naughty. Ye have not mentioned to me no socky down at Lawnoretti's shop. But I feel in me a new quality of socky. I think it was dear Madge Titheridge in maybe 1936. <laughs> I did this, seven, and always came to the theatre, the Aubrey Theatre, stand there in the Aubrey Theatre, and I remember, dear Edith Evans, she would stand there and start acting, she had to have her anchors. She simply had to have her anchors, and her anchors consisted always of a table, if she was doing Ibsen, and uh, sometimes of an antimacassar, if she was doing Henry Arthur Jones or Arthur Wing Pinero, and of course, in the event that she was doing a modern kitchen sink drama, she had to have a sock. <laughs> We might carry on with that, but do another story. I think we, we exhausted the sock there. Yeah. But, uh, the life and times of a JCB. <laughs> <laughs> the life and times of a JCB. Right. Uh, <clears throat> Chapter nine. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, sorry, that was Dick Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph Digger Murchison, <laughs> an Australian excavator who knew the hiding place of the stolen jewels, 
that Charles Henderson had been sitching far. <laughs> this was a very big tool. <laughs> when that aprile, guinea for to shinny, and people go down to B and Q, <laughs> and buy their cells for mica working toppies. Then think I, I must hire the JCBE. I never worked with the JCBE before. I, I remember, <laughs> I remember one occasion it was probably 1954-53 after I'd just done Venice Observed, and all of a sudden I, I realised it was the only way to act because of the young people were doing this wonderful young actors coming along, you know, Albert Finney and people like that, lovely young muscular boys, and um, <laughs> they. Um, they're absolutely splendid with anything electrical, mechanical drills, JCBs, dumper chuck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we managed two stories there, so I think I can give double points to everybody. Uh, 20 points to everybody on that round. The next game is called Genre Option. Genre Option. Um, two players working as a team will be given the setting of a scene, and they will improvise that scene. At any point, I'll stop them with my buzzer and ask you in the audience to supply a different style for them to act in a theatre style or a film style, um, something like that. Um, so, Stephen and Jimmy, the um, scene which I'd like you to start acting is that of an interrogator and a prisoner. Who is being the interrogator? Uh, who, you can, can well, I, I can sort that out myself. Answer, answer the question, who is going to interrogate? <laughs> You can be the interrogator, Stephen. And Jimmy can be the prisoner. And um, just start off in your own style, and then we'll get suggestions of a film or theatrical style from the audience when, when I stop you. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Sit down. Now. <laughs> Where were you? Last Friday. I was at home. No, you weren't. You were in prison. You've been here for two weeks already. <laughs> Disney. We've got a Disney suggestion, so carry on in Disney characters. <laughs> Ha, 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 little fella. <laughs> Sorry? Play school. Play school. Sort of a style, I suppose. <laughs> no, then. Yes. What's the day? <laughs> Today's the day I got nicked. Mm -hmm. Now, where's Teddy? <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> maybe, maybe a film style? Hang on, I've got two different ones there. Western there, and what was your one? Sound music. John White. Derek Jarman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Let's go with the Western. That seemed the most uh, ah. easy one to take on board. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> now, boy. Yep. you got to tell me something. Yep. Now, tell me straight away. Yep. Where's my horse? Uh, well, it's... it's... You're going to take my horse? I've got to know where that horse is. It's in, it's in my trouser pocket. <laughs> well, now I'm going to ask you to hand it over to me. Okay, here goes. It's a, I, it's a big fella. You're pretty slow on the draw with that horse. <laughs> I, is this my horse? Oh, good old Scottish, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say the wild west of Scotland, did you? <laughs> there, here we are. Ah. It's, it's a little horse from uh, Ibiza. The oh. little... Which, <laughs> Silent movies. Well, we'll just pause while that particular member of the audience is ejected. Hang on. Oh, get carried away. St. Trinians, yes. Oh, oh Miss Gossage, Miss Gossage, Miss Gossage. Girls, 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 girls. I don't want to... No, no, please, please, please. No. I miss, miss, it wasn't me, Miss. Honestly, it was Lola. Hello. <laughs> now then, what have you been doing? What have you been up to? Come on. Nothing, Miss. Honestly, honestly, I haven't been doing anything. Who am I doing? <laughs> what, uh, Dynasty or Dallas, can you combine those two in a... Well, they have, so don't you... <laughs> You're a loser, Barnes. <laughs> You're a loser. I love her, for God's sake, I love her. Well, you go out and buy yourself something real pretty now, you hear? <laughs> I'm going into the shower. I might be some time. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll end on that one. Thank you.